Hands up. What do you already know about parallel? Rocco. Two lines that what? Okay. Um, Denise, you want to add to that? They never cross. I love the word parallel because it has examples of parallel in it. The L's in parallel are all parallel. Wow. Do you see it? Hello. This and this and this, they're all straight lines that are running the same direction. Oops. And they won't ever cross, true? I mean, if they're typed and they're the right font. If they're my own handwriting, they slant, right? <laughs> but this one here has examples. What about perpendicular? I heard you guys say something about 90 degrees. Elliot, they cross at a 90 degree angle. So you guys already know a lot about parallel and perpendicular that will help you with what we're gonna move on to here. We're now talking about how that's related to linear equations. Because what you guys did not say, but you sort of alluded to, they're straight lines, aren't they? And so this fits into our section on linear equations. Please open up a parallel and do your best to make examples of two parallel linear lines. And I'm gonna add the words that we heard from, I think it was Denise. They never cross. We talked quite a, not a quite a bit, but we talked about um, parallel lines when you guys were doing the Desmos with the airplane landing. Do you recall it? Oh, yeah. And what we noticed was what was true about the slope in those cases? It was the same. But what was different about the y-intercept? It was lower. It's a different y-intercept. And so as we were dealing with the equation, you might have like y equals 2x plus 3 and y equals 2x plus 9. Same slope, same parallel lines, but they're up and down on that y-intercept, which is kind of how you ended up playing with getting those planes to land once you found out the angle, right? So that works with parallel. I'm not sure why I'm seeing glue open. I should see note-taking happening. Let's open this flap for perpendicular. We're going to draw what perpendicular looks like. As you guys stated, they are straight lines that cross at a 90 degree angle. And I want you to show that angle in there. There's actually four 90 degree angles in there if you think about it. When I think about perpendicular, they also make a perfect circle if I surround the intersection of the lines because 90 times 90 or plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 is 360. What I just circled is showing that there are other 90 degree angles in there. Do you see what I'm seeing there? Yeah. So they are straight lines that cross to form four 90 degree angles at their intersection. I'm gonna add the word two, two lines that cross to form for 90 degree angles at their intersection. What's true about their slope is very interesting, and we're going to do that second. What's true about their y-intercept, you can have any y-intercepts. It just depends on where these lines are. The slope is what makes these lines interesting. 
their slopes are what we call opposite reciprocal. So if I have a slope that is two thirds on one of the two lines, the slope on the other set of, or the other line is going to be negative three over two. This one's positive and this one is? Negative. So when I think about the word opposite, I'm thinking about positive versus negative. And when I think about reciprocal, it's that idea of a flipped fraction, that if I multiply them together, I get one. In this case, if they get multiplied together, I'm always gonna get negative one. Because 2 thirds times negative three over two would be negative one. Typically a reciprocal, like if I do one over three, it's reciprocal is three over one. If I multiply those, I get one with perpendicular lines, you always get the two slopes would equal negative one. So my example might be if I have negative five times positive one over five, it equals negative one. Two the two slopes of the two lines that cross at 90 degree angles. And that's how you get mm -hmm. So let's go to our description of appearance for neither. Say that again. I can try, it's really bright outside. Can you turn that other light switch off? This is also being recorded, so we'll be able to go back. Okay. And you can come look at mine when I'm done. Alright, let's go to neither. If the lines were parallel, I would have another line that looks just like this either above it or below it, true? And if it was perpendicular, I would have another line crossing it, making a 90 degree angle. If it's neither parallel or perpendicular, my two lines cross at some other degree where one of the angles is obtuse and the other angle is acute. Meaning that their intersection. Doesn't like one is wide. And oops, thank down. you. Because I zoomed in, I was off screen. Thank you for letting me know. The intersection has no 90 degree angles. Yeah, the wider angle is the obtuse angle and the acute is the narrower. So in order, like if you picture lines that I could flex, if I'm at 90 degrees, to get them to no longer be where they are perpendicular, I could flex them and one would have to end up bigger than 90 and the other would end up smaller because they started at 90 and I moved them, right? So what's true about the slope here? Well, one slope is positive and one slope is negative. If you look at my two lines, this one is positive and this one is negative. <clears throat> they are not the same or opposite reciprocal. and they could have any y-intercepts. Not the same or opposite. 
If they were the same, they'd be parallel. If they were opposite reciprocal, they'd be perpendicular. So these are just any other set of angles that end up in our slope. So I might have a slope of positive 3 and a slope of negative 2 over 5. And they would cross each other. One's positive, one's negative, but they would not have a 90 degree angle or have a slope that's the same. Where is that? Mm -hmm. Just an example. It has to be uh, two lines though, right? Mm -hmm. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so let's take some time to glue in what we have for today. The last thing we glued in was the pink finding intercepts. I want the paper you just received back from me to go behind that, and this bright orange is going to go to the right. So let's take a moment to get those glued into our notebooks. <coughs> 